All right, let's jump right into this, man. Episode five, episode five of WandaVision, which I actually, you know, funny story real quick. Um, I dozed off last night about, I don't know, 1145 midnight. Mm-hmm. And I just kind of like woke up randomly. I'd say about 140, 145. Did you have a boner? Like I have to go, pop, to go take a piss or something? Or? No, 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 no. I just, I just woke up randomly. So I thought in my oh. head, I was like, oh. what? I might just chill, you know, do some surfing on my phone and I might just wait and I'm going to be tired of shit, but I might just check out WandaVision at two. And sure enough, I waited till two and it came on and nice. I was like, all right, I'm pretty tired. I'm only going to watch the first like five, 10 minutes. You know, you course. can't do that. And then of course, yeah, Come it gets on. to 15 minutes and I'm like, you know what? Screw it, man. I'm just going to watch the whole thing. So much to take in. A lot of stuff to digest in this. So Mm -hmm. many clues, so many Easter eggs, so many twists and turns. We got a lot of questions answered, but then at the same time, we got more questions given to us pretty much. Um, I got some bullets and points right here. I'm just going to go through the list real quick. There was another commercial. I thought that was kind of funny. Lagos, uh, paper towels, obviously referencing Civil War and what happened in Lagos. Even the quote they used, man, it was funny. Something about... Uh, cleaning up the mess you didn't mean to make or some shit. We got our first mission to Captain Marvel, you know, with Monica. Um, yeah, that was good. It was kind of strange because we didn't get the, I didn't get the, uh, the reaction I wanted. It seems like Monica's kind of shady towards her. I was thinking maybe, maybe she's on bad terms with Captain Marvel. Did her mom get cancer from being exposed or around to Captain Marvel? Ooh. All those years. I don't know. I, there looked like there's Ooh, something there. Cause, interesting. Yeah. Cause when Darcy brought her up, she was like, yeah, we're not talking about her. We're talking about Wanda. So I'm like, oh, shit, man. Maybe or she's maybe she's mad at Captain Marvel because she didn't beat Thanos in time to beat her from the snap. So she missed her mom's death and all that shit. Oh, that her. too. Yeah, oh, that's a good so, point. That's a very good point. I mean, she missed yeah. two years, right? Shit, With her yeah, mom, but five total. So maybe yeah. she's mad about that. Yeah. And we got your question answered. I know you're questioning this about the clothing uh, when mm-hmm. Monica came out. Yep. So it turns out when she went in, Wanda's altering this shit permanently, it seems. And she answered my other question. Why wasn't she damaged when she was thrown through all the fucking through the house, through the fence, and you know, dropped 50 feet in the air? She still yeah. was covered she had like a little red shield around her when she was being shoved through everything. So maybe yeah, maybe she was kind of protecting her while getting her out at the same time. Well, you know what, dude? It, I, I saw somebody <laughs> mention this on Twitter and um People are starting to wonder, and myself included, that maybe when Monica went through the shield, maybe that's where she kind of gets her superpowers. You know, we might be looking at some type of origin for her superpowers because you remember that one scene where she's like, I need to do your test again. They're blank. Yep. It's like, oh, shit. Did we just see her get her superpowers? Because obviously in the comics, she's Spectrum. She has a lot of I can't remember how many abilities, but she has a lot of abilities in the comics. But this might be where she gets her powers. I don't know. It very well could be. But I wonder if anyone else is going to be shoved through or whatever right now only we've only seen two people exit yeah that's monica and scarlet witch yeah and i was getting so, yeah, i was getting that was that. fucking awesome dude oh dude but, i watched that scene like three times i was like oh i loved it it's just it's kind of like you're the tent when you're watching it you kind of like freeze up like oh shit you know and you kind of have the same reaction as the sword people do when wanda's marching towards him it's like oh dude she is pissed mm-hmm. but um yeah another thing about this vision's going completely off the rails um questioning everything it's kind of cool to see him it's kind of cool but it's kind of terrifying at the same time to see him realize everything and uh, god he kind of got me at the end there it's kind of heartbreaking when he's it's like i don't know who i am like what are you doing to me who am i blah 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 and then he awakens norm finally got to see that we've got to see a real person you know, but it's it was, weird because he's all being all emotional. Yeah. I, I, I kind of equate vision to, to Spock, you know? So anytime there's like, there's like emotion, it's just not, it, it doesn't fit his, his archetype. But then again, you know, he's reanimated. And so maybe who knows? I don't yeah. know. It was, yeah. it, was, it, was, it, it was bizarre. It was, it was, but it was, it was completely unlike vision, but that me that leads me to the next bullet point where, we learned that sword was apparently experimenting on his body and mm-hmm. uh, Wanda came to, I guess, get it. We didn't see her leave with the body, but I guess she walked in there, destroyed <laughs> everybody and took safe, it. safe to assume. I think she got it. I guess, man, mm-hmm. it, maybe that's kind of what helps trigger her. Um, 
I don't know, man. Like, were they using it to study him? Were they using it to make weapons? Were they using? Were they going to try to bring him back as like a <coughs> a well, killer? Is sword bad? I I can't tell. Like, were they doing? Were they? Did they have good intentions with his body or bad? Maybe we'll get answered. I don't know. I'm sh- I'm sure but, it's good intentions. I mean, they just can't leave it out there for anybody to to take. I mean, right. so they're trying to right. learn whatever they can from. I mean, Stark's not around anymore. Yep. Um, Ruffalo's doing whatever Ruffalo's doing. We don't know what he's doing right now, but mm-hmm. he's maybe he's, you know, he's maybe he's slowly, but surely healing up from. Yeah. I mean, I mean, who knows? Um, but yeah. Yeah. And uh, we also learned that Wanda doesn't have the name Scarlet witch yet, apparently. So, which, you know, they've never called her that in the movies and co- uh, movies and uh, or I guess just the movies, but yeah, I'm kind of right. wondering, I'm kind of wondering, huh. we're probably going to get a name drop at some point. They're going to call her, Scarlet Witch, I would assume. It was kind of interesting. I wonder if it's like a negative, a negative title that I like. I think so. She's a Scarlet Witch, that one or something, and it'll be like, you know. Yeah. Huh. Are you sure they haven't dropped her her name yet in MCU? I'm pretty positive. I, I they just I refer mean, to her as Wanda Maximoff, huh? Uh Wanda or a twin or an enhanced in Age of Ultron. I don't I don't think I've never heard the name. I think you're right. Wow. Movies. Curious. It's always just been Wanda. Um, but yeah, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe we'll get a name drop. And um, Agnes, uh, something's up with her. And something that I noticed was the kids. It, the kids were aging up. They aged up mm-hmm. twice in this episode. Mm-hmm. And both times, it seemed like Wanda was genuinely like shocked. But Agnes wasn't. So I'm starting to think, you know, because uh, you remember when Agnes comes in and she's like, sprinkling that stuff over the babies that spray or whatever and then all yeah. of a few minutes later it's like lavender or something or... Up. yeah like i think she has something <clears throat> to do with the kids uh, i don't know what yet i'm still trying to piece it together but i don't think so their manifestations obviously like 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 vision is there i mean vision well, vision is somewhat animated and manifested but well according I... to jimmy woo the kids are real what they were saying the kids are real like they're or monica she said the kids are really there mm-hmm. they're real people Apparently, that's what she said. I don't. I don't. She didn't say the kids were real, did she? She said everyone yeah, she there said, is real. She, yeah, she said the kids were real. Oh, well, fuck. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't either, man. And hmm. I, that's why I said, if why would Wanda be surprised when they aged up right in front of her? I just I don't get that. I, I think, think she's was, starting to lose a little bit of her her control again. You know, slowly but surely. I mean, I mean, Vision's not doing what she wants Vision to do by any means, right? Yeah, I think he's come to pretty. So, so if, if you think Agnes, uh, it's Agnes, right? If I can call yeah. the wrong thing. If you, if you think she's got something to do with the kids, what was with her? She got it. She broke character and goes, you just want to take it from the top? Yeah, that was weird. That was weird. What, I, I'm still trying to fathom that what, how that would fit in with her um, being in, in, any, in any like potential mentoring role or or Mephisto role, and we still, you know, we, we kind of discounted that. But we were talking about it earlier. I, I, I just that 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 whole scene threw me for a fucking loop, man. I'm not I, sure. it, yeah, me too. Honestly, I don't really know what to tell you, dude. I I'm kind of on the I, same yeah. level as you because you know, on one hand, it would be like maybe she's playing along, but then why would she have to? Like, she should have some type of control in a way. Like, she shouldn't have to do that. Like, I, I don't. It was very confusing. Very yeah, confusing. yeah. So, and in, 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 in that regard. She almost, now maybe this is the, 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 the actor in me coming out because I've been on so many sets of shitty films. Not yours, Zach. Yours are great. Oh, thank uh, you. But, um, I mean, if, if Wanda is not at 100% in control, then who is, the, who is the real director of the show? Was Agnes, was Agnes actually talking to Wanda, saying, should we just take it from the top? It didn't seem like it. It seemed like she was like, should we just take it from the top? It seemed like she was talking to a, like a like a like a crew to me or someone or a director. So I don't know. I, I got to watch that scene again. I'm, I'm going to yeah. watch it later. It, it just still, yeah. That, that 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 whole series right there was just kind of just mess with me. I'm like, wait, what what just happened? What just happened? So I'm maybe sure maybe there is maybe there is someone else. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's some type of other surprise. You know, someone else is behind the uh behind the scenes. I just didn't think it would be. Mephisto, because I feel like it's no, just I agree. 
I just feel like it's too much to bring in with Mephisto. Like we need a lot more time to build up to him. Like it'd be kind of weird if they just threw him in. Yeah, yeah. And the only reason I said that is because we, we we talked about it in the first couple episodes, and uh, and 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 or then I brought the, the the mentoring aspect, and I just and just her line or her delivery in that little scene just didn't it didn't cater towards either of those directions. And now I'm really just really not sure what the fuck she is. Yeah. So. Me I don't know, brother. I don't know. It's 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 still a mystery. But yeah, Wanda comes out of the hex. Uh, you know, they fly a drone in there, and I I, I think personally that that Hayward, he's he's. I, I know the yeah, I know the last episode. I think something's up with him, but I don't really think he's anything special. I just think he's a dude who legitimately hates Wanda because it seems like he wants to kill her, or and like he's got some extreme vendetta against her. Maybe there's a past history we don't know about. I don't know, yeah. but I, I think he hates her. Obviously, you know, he surprised Monica by saying, you know, take the shot. I guess he tried to kill mm-hmm. her and the kid like, fuck, dude. So how did the drone get in there with, 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 the, with the missile without it being turned into something else? It still had the same look. Well, she, Monica had that line where she said, what if we send in something that doesn't require a change because it's from that time zone, like the 80s. So they set like an old ass drone in there that wouldn't be changed. And uh, I guess it that wasn't the eighties. That wasn't the eighties. That was like the seventies or something. Wasn't it? No, it was the eighties, man. Was like that the, was the eighties. That's like the full house family ties type shit. But uh, it seemed to it seemed older than that. And I, I didn't know there were there's drone technology back in the eighties like that. I, I guess there was, I don't know, <laughs> but uh, I yeah. don't know, dude. I'm going to look that shit up. Yeah. But whatever it was, <laughs> oh, dude. whatever it was, it, it pissed Wanda off. So she comes out of the hex in one of the, one of the best scenes of the episode and uh, has a full on confrontation with them. And we learned a lot. She's in her. This looks like Scarlet Witch from the movies. Like she's in her, mm-hmm. her outfit. She's got her long hair. She's got her Sokovian accent back a little bit. And uh, she kind of goes back and forth with Hayward, you know, and uh, Monica comes forward, tries to reason with her. Yeah. Basically, Wanda says, um, I have everything I want. So, you know, this is your this is your one warning. Don't come yeah. in my home. So. That right there kind of leads me to believe, okay, she is responsible for all this, but there are yeah. still some little things yeah. that I question that, you know, there's still some stuff that doesn't add up, which I know we'll get answers for eventually. But, um, yeah, that was a really cool scene. And then she kind of turns the turns the guns on Hayward. It's just great scene, man. Oh, yeah. Um, Dude, she's even more powerful now because she didn't, in, in the past, she's had to touch people, right, to get in their head. And she just fucking got in, like, 20 dudes' heads like that. Now, granted, they're not – superheroes or yeah they're just they're just normal fucking you know troops and stuff but in the past you had to like you know she had to like be real close to them and like to get her thing going on but she is yeah man and then she made the whole shield just glow red like it's even yeah like she, yeah. she amped up the defenses even more yeah well i i know in age of ultron you know with when she was given the the visions to all the people like Iron Man and shit. She was like right by him, but like kind of threw it in their head. But as far as like mass people, like mm-hmm. 30 soldiers at once, I don't think I've ever seen her do anything like that. That's yeah. She's definitely gotten stronger, but um, real quick, let's talk about the ending. Obviously the, the big, the big shock. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's just like, Pietro. like who what, are you? Oh, you're Pietro. My bad. Yeah. Like what, what, what do you do here? Like, is it, I, I, do you think it's all smoke and mirrors? Is it the Quicksilver from the Fox movies? Is it her real brother, but with a different persona? Like, I, I don't know what to take right now. I'm still trying to digest it all. It's a mind fuck, dude. That's, that's how they're going to introduce mutants. <laughs> that's another way to introduce. Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to really amount to much down the line other than just really pushing the buttons of a lot of fanboys for bringing mutants into the MCU. I mean, yeah, I, I think people are making a big deal about it, but it's I don't a think- weird. It's a weird choice. It's an interesting choice. I don't know that it's going to make 100% sense in the storyline in any regard whatsoever, unless it's from an alternate universe, like with through Strange, where she's like, oh, since my brother was dead in this timeline, I brought my brother from another timeline in. Right, right. I, I don't know, man. I, I don't think, I, I, know people are, I know people are losing their minds about this, but I don't think it's going to be that important to the yeah. overall show. I agree. I think it's just a big, active, push your button Easter egg where people are like, just to get, just to generate more and more, but more buzz about it. it yeah. you know, he's yeah. not going to be another baby Yoda, but he's definitely going to be a hot topic this week. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. So I, I'm still, before I decide anything, I'm still kind of trying to wrap my head around what angle they're taking here because there's so many different options 
with what this could be. You know, why didn't they bring the guy? I, I think, you know, if it's a manifestation of her brother, obviously her real brother who died in Ultron, like, uh-huh. uh, I don't even know how long Ultron took place with the timeline there and now, you know, years and years. His years and years body is now. obviously probably decomposed by now, so there's no way she can reanimate his body. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't know, well, man. She it's, made these babies out of thin air. So that's yeah, why I don't think they're real. But but she seemed genuinely shocked, like she didn't put him there. So where did he come from? That's could be another yeah, because she didn't she didn't ring the doorbell. She said she didn't remember she's like, I didn't do that. Yeah. Because it, it seemed like Vision was like, Really? We're not gonna have this conversation because you're bringing in some other character now into the storyline. Right. Someone's oh, someone's conveniently ringing the doorbell. And she's like, That that wasn't me. Right. So someone else is starting to have influence. And that, that and that kind of plays more into my Agnes comment earlier, where she's like, "Can we? Should we just take it from the top?" Yeah, yeah. Implying that that Wanda is not the one 100 percent in control. Yeah, which is interesting. I think I think you're right though, because it looked like Agnes was waiting for someone to respond. Yeah, other, yeah. other than Wanda in yep. a way, because Wanda was even Wanda was like, "What? What do you? What do you? What do you mean?" Yeah, like what? What the fuck are you doing? So I don't know, but um, the biggest thing to me in this episode was obviously not the Quicksilver thing, which which some people would think is a surprise, but that wasn't the biggest thing. The biggest thing to me, and this might be looking too much into it, but that's what I do. I look into shit. Mm. There was a reference to Monica knowing about a certain aerospace engineer, and the first thing that came to my mind is Reed Richards. Now, okay. Wait, to, to, to refresh my memory, when, when was this? When they're talking about trying to get back into the field. Right. At, at okay. some point. Uh, she's like, I need this many. Yeah, I need this. This, 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 this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know a certain aerospace engineer who could help us or something like that. I'm, oh. par- I'm, I'm paraphrasing here. I don't remember exactly what she said, but she said aerospace engineer. And in my mind, I'm thinking, OK, well, who do we know works in aerospace, works on ships, been in this uh, smartest guy in the in the I think he's the smartest guy in Marvel. I think he's smarter than Tony and Bruce. Uh, Reed Richards is a fucking genius, but interesting. You sure she said aerospace? Yeah, I'm positive. She, yeah, she didn't say astrophysics. No, no aerospace. She, was, she wasn't referring to to home chick. No, 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 no. Oh, no. ooh, I gotta watch that scene again. Yeah, you gotta watch the whole episode again. You like yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it was late. It was late. It was. I know. But here's the thing: they, they keep. I keep seeing these rumors about this series that there's supposed to be a fucking monstrous cameo like parallel to Luke Skywalker and Mandalorian and I don't think it's Doctor Strange because a lot of us MCU fans we kind of already expect him to show up I don't think mm-hmm. it's it's going to be cool if he does but it's not going to like Dude, oh if Reed, if Reed Richards pops up that's what I'm saying I think okay. Reed Richards could be because they keep saying they have an ace in the hole like a huge cameo I don't think it's strange because that's too predictable too obvious yeah it, of course a strange cameo would be incredible but I don't think it would be that huge of a shock to many of us you know it's like oh shit he's here cool if they were to bring in someone like reed richards or someone we've never met it'd be like dude, they, dude they, are you fucking kidding i me? would i would shit <laughs> like could you imagine if john krasinski shows up <clears throat> towards the end to help like i'd fucking dude, lose my mind dude that would be huge and I, you know what and i wouldn't put it past them because everyone is all the fans of push for krasinski big time yeah and blunt yeah. like i don't really care what they do with johnny storm and in the thing but that'll, that'll be cgi anyway yeah, I'd, I'd really love to see Krasinski and Blunt integrated into. I would too. I would too. Wow, yeah. that's interesting. I mean, I wonder. Okay, who else could it be? I don't know, man. But I think, uh, it, like I said, I could be reaching about Reed Richards, but it, it would be. I just think I, I'd love it. I'd love it. Well, I just think the previous episode when Monica goes back to work, they're talking about astronauts, and then now they're dropping aerospace. I think there's so many astronaut references now. It's like, are you guys trying to slowly integrate? the the fantastic four side of things which i hope you are because that would be fucking incredible i just think it's uh i'm just i'm not looking past it man i i I, no i think i think it's smart and 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 the whole quicksilver thing still she okay now wanda is not aware of i mean she is somewhat aware of other timelines because she was part of that whole exercise for getting the stones and shit right but she wouldn't know what I don't think she I don't think she has the I don't think her powers will allow her to to jump timelines yeah. to grabs to grab another person out of it. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. It's just well, I'm, I know it's not her I'm brother. Curious. I know it's not her real brother because 
he has that funny line, who's the popsicle? Like mm-hmm. he, he doesn't know who Vision is. Her real brother in Age of Ultron knew who Vision was. He was in the room with them a few times. So Right, right. Well, he's obviously from a different timeline. Yeah, this but, new Quicksilver has no idea who Vision is. So Right, but who people would, are I mean, saying it's her brother reincarnated. It's like, no, it's not. It's not yeah, her brother at all. Like you said, he would know. He exactly. Would know. So I, I don't know, man. That's 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 the biggest mystery for me coming out of this episode. Is is who the fuck is he and where did he come from? But in the other timeline, wouldn't there be a vision as well? I, I who knows? Uh, I don't know. See, I hate I hate fucking time stuff. Maybe, maybe it's, it's uh it's complicated and lazy at the same time. You can always how are we gonna fix this loop this 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 issue with our story? Yeah, eh, okay, time knows? travel. He could be, uh, you know, he could be from another timeline where him and Scarlet Witch are from Magneto, and there is no Avengers, there is no Vision from the Mind Stone, there is no, you sure. know, who knows? Who knows? I don't yeah. know. This this still could be that way in this timeline, maybe. Well, they did bring up her parents. Their parents were killed. That's what she thinks. Yeah, uh, but were they were real parents, or maybe they were just surrogates? Who knows? Yeah, but then how would you explain if they really just, are Magneto's kids? They didn't get their know. powers until the Mind Stone, so they were like normal human beings before that. Maybe. God, I, w- I wanted, I wanted, I, w- I wanted more. I did too. Are these episodes going to start getting longer or what? Well, I noticed this was the longest one we've got so far, so maybe. I hope so. This was uh, forty-two minutes with credits, but without credits, it was about thirty-six minutes. So it was yeah, dude. There's like ten minutes of credits. I, I, it's stupid. It fucking dude. drives me nuts. I, I don't know why they do that shit. I really don't. But uh, yeah, it, it, for what it's worth, though, this episode was about five, six, seven minutes longer than the previous ones. So hmm. maybe we're slowly getting there. Just give me like an hour finale, and I'll be good. Give me like a whole hour, you know, hour of power for the last episode. Yeah, just whatever, you know. I I loved every bit of it. Oh, me too. Uh, me too. I think I think what's her name who plays Agnes is, is a phenomenal little actress. Oh, she is. She, she's she's yeah. making it pop. At first, she was annoying, but then she's like, yeah, she's really good. I don't know, man. It's crazy. I wish it was next Friday already. I'm, I'm probably gonna go watch it again now and w- watch for those things you were talking about. Yeah, I am too. I, I know I, I watch it with a couple more people every Friday, so I'll get to kind of reassess as well. You know, nice. with, with sharp eyes and a more clear mind. But yeah, I think I I pretty much got everything I wanted to say out of it. Um. I was impressed, man. It's, this is getting better and better and better. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Looking forward to uh, looking forward to. Fuck, man. I wanted some answers. And it's I mean, there's only four more episodes. So I know. I know. That's it's kind of crazy if you think about it. It doesn't right? seem like there's a lot of time left to, to get the answers that I want. Well, we got some pretty quick answers this episode. So maybe they'll just start piling it up. Like already we got the whole, oh. She she got Vision's body, and then the whole she comes out of the hex. Yeah. So what do you think is gonna happen next week then? Well, I do know at one point Vision gets out of the. Uh, I think I think next episode Vision very well might step break, out of the bubble. Step out of the bubble because I know he gets there at some point. Yeah. It's 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 got to be next episode because yeah, because he references episode. it. He's like, "What's beyond Westview?" I don't yeah. know what's out there. So he's he's definitely curious. And he's gonna go find out what's going on. Yeah, I think I think next episode. I know there's a Halloween theme. Maybe that's next episode with the Halloween costumes, trick or treating really? and shit. Oh, huh. yeah. There's some shots in some of the trailers of trick or treating and. Oh, uh, that's right. But I mean, the the kids are the right age now, so maybe next week, you know, it's a ho- like a Halloween theme. But I do think you know next week could end with Vision getting out of the bubble. You know that that'd be a good place to end it, um, or maybe go a little further. But I think he's getting out of the bubble like as early as next week. Yeah, because they got they got to start progressing towards the finale at this point. Yeah, shit, yep. you got four episodes left, homeboy. I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but you know what, dude? Yeah, I trust them. I trust them. I, I think I, I think they know what they're doing, and I, I don't really doubt it. But all right, all right, dude. All right brother. Well, uh, good, good chat, man. We'll uh, reconvene next week. Sounds good, man. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at the Indie Rundown, and like our Facebook page, the Indie Rundown Podcast. 